Welcome along to the essential oil series. So we're talking eucalyptus now. So eucalyptus, um, my friend, I love eucalyptus, absolutely love it. Uh, a lot of us will know eucalyptus. Uh, growing up as kids, respiratory issues, eucalyptus would go into the humidifier um, or eucalyptus would be used to get the chewing gum that you were chewing that you were told you weren't meant to be chewing out of your hair or eucalyptus would get it off the wall, you know, all that sort of stuff. So eucalyptus is um, something very familiar to me along with tea tree as an Aussie kid growing up, okay? Eucalyptus is menthol. Please use it with a carrier oil if you're going to topically apply it just because it can be a little bit intense for your skin. And if you're using it on little kids, most definitely use a carrier oil and dilute it, okay? Understand the dilution ratios. Um, when and the way that it works is that you might use a you might use three drops to a tablespoon of carrier oil for an adult and only one drop to a tablespoon of carrier oil for a child. You know, dilution rates um, mean less is good for kids. And when you are using therapeutic grade essential oils, less is more altogether, okay? I've got some friends who want to use heaps thinking that more is better. No, it's not, less is more, less uh, quantity um, but used more regularly will actually provide you far more beneficial results okay and cost you less money so eucalyptus is a myrtle family a tree from the myrtle family we are talking eucalyptus radiata in particular and it's good shit right it, it is good topical and aromatic use for this and again, like I said, use your, use your carrier oil to dilute. Why? You can use it neat if you want to, but using it with a carrier oil just means that it will go further and it has better absorption on your skin and it helps you if your skin is sensitive. Eucalyptus is antiseptic, um, antiviral. It's a vasodilator. Uh, so if you've got issues with your heart in terms of uh, circulatory issues, then um, have a think about this one and have a think about whether you should or should not use it. Okay, I'll just leave it there. Anti, it's also anti-inflammatory. Um, it is a true Aussie legend in my mind. It's another true Aussie legend. Tea tree is, so is eucalyptus. Um, and it's like an aromatic god. If I have sinus, if I have chest infection, if I just don't feel good, I get up in the morning, I'll get a big bowl of warm, really warm water, if not boiling. I'll put a couple of drops of eucalyptus in it. By that stage, you can already smell it anyway. Carry it to the table, get yourself a towel, stick your head over the, over the bowl and just let the steam diffuse, okay? And it goes, and, and breathe it in. It goes in and it helps to clear your airways. It just helps to support your respiratory system. It really helps the body. Uh, so that's a really cool aspect of eucalyptus. What do trees do? Trees convert our waste product when we breathe out, it's just that carbon dioxide, into oxygen for us to breathe, right? So trees look after our respiratory system. Their branches and their leaves look like our lungs, you know, all the little components of the lungs. Um, so yeah, eucalyptus, Big trees are really going to help your respiratory area. And eucalyptus radiata in particular, awesome. Big tick. If I could only have, I just read what I wrote here. If I could only have three essential oils, like only three. I've got lots, but if I could only have three, eucalyptus would be one of them. Let's just put it that way, okay? So on the physical level, like I've already said, fantastic for your respiratory system. Um, if whatever you've got going on, use your eucalyptus. You can, if you've got one of those um, sleep apnea machines, sleep sleep apps or whatever they are, um, you can put a drop of eucalyptus into your filter, or you, maybe you could do a blend of eucalyptus and lavender, um, therapeutic grade only, please, and then pop your mask on, and and, and that's going to help you as well. I personally have friends that do that, and they really really like it. They say they sleep really well. 
you sleep well anyway because you're breathing um, but the oil then is helping your system eucalyptus to me calms the reason it calms my system down could be because i know it so well um, but it could also be because that's what it's here for it's great in terms of inflammation and really good to help you with congestion you can use it as a massage as well so if it, again if you've got some chest funky chest things happening turn it into a salve you know make your own vapor rub um, I nearly went to say a name then, but I better not. So pop some eucalyptus into some coconut oil. You know, the coconut oil that you buy from the shop that goes hard when it's winter. Uh, so if it's in summer, put it in the fridge so that it actually salves up, goes a bit hard. You can make a salve with coconut oil, um, shea butter and cacao butter, or I think. Just trying to remember. I oh, know it's definitely shea butter and, and coconut oil and then just a couple of drops of eucalyptus and you can rub that onto your chest and it'll just make you feel mint um, also put it onto your back and then you can do your um, pounding onto the back as well yes you can use eucalyptus with kids put it in an, a diffuser or put it into a bowl of water but preferably put it into a diffuser if they've got a yuki bear use eucalyptus in the yuki bear um, preferably use a diffuser rather than a humidifier because humidifier is going to add moisture. Diffuser is cold air diffusion, which is not going to settle into your lungs. Like that, that's your, your basic difference. Eucalyptus is the oil of wellness. Really helps you to feel good. Like I was saying, you know, really helps you to feel well. If you're someone but that seems to want to always feel sick, uh, maybe it's your story, it's your journey, it's, it's what you are used to. Um, there is another way to feel and there is another way to be and to live and eucalyptus can help you with that eucalyptus can also help you to heal your heart because it is a heart oil uh, eucalyptus can help you with a broken heart and I've seen it work extremely well for people who lose their partner their lifetime partner um, Sometimes you have a heart attack afterwards or people have, have heart pains and chest pains because they've got a broken heart. So you can use your eucalyptus for that. And the way you can use it is to just smell it. Put it on a hanky or a tissue. Um, put it on your hands. Smell it uh, or put it over your heart and it will help you. It will help you to heal from that trauma, to feel whole um, and liberated again. And it just, I don't know, picks you up and helps you feel lively and encouraged. Uh, it's also really good for um, jet lag. Fantastic for that. There is an essential oil technique, body application technique, which applies essential oils up your spine and then through your meridians and helps to calm your nervous system. You can also use eucalyptus um, after jet lag or night shift and it will just help to elevate you fantastic in a foot bath so pop it into a foot bath and pop your feet into it um, that's going to help you too like so many different ways that you can use essential oils but in particular eucalyptus that's a way that i like to use it vasodilator like i talked about before great for brain blood flow because of the vasodilator side of things breathe it in bronchitis you know cools your body great for coughs Really good as in terms of a disinfection, disinfectant. Works extremely well with viruses. Um, really good for influenza. Uh, I'm just looking at a book, reference book that I've got here. It's really good for uh, sinusitis. I've talked about that, tennis elbow, those sort of things. I'm not going to say the next lot of words. So I might get in a bit of trouble. So eucalyptus, the oil of wellness, like I said, really, really good for that side of things. Encourages you to take full responsibility for your own health. Step into that space. You can do it. It's also all about liberation and well-being. Um, eucalyptus, uh, I'm just going to read this to you, okay? Eucalyptus is, an easy, is as easy going as an Australian wearing flip-flops with sandy feet. It's an Aussie oil, right? Think of your Australian friends and laugh. 
because we're good. Eucalyptus doesn't get drawn into drama and knows that life is more than that. When we, can take, when we can't take a breath, we may feel emotionally unsupported. We might also feel choked by the responsibility of a situation or a loved one. So when you're feeling congested, you can use your eucalyptus. It just helps you to take a breath and to breathe, to be fully in your own body and to be totally here, right? Because the world needs you. So use eucalyptus. <laughs> uh, therapeutic grade essential oils only, please. Uh, and if you're not sure, reach out. All right, enjoy eucalyptus. See you guys.